Alrighty, well, this is just going to be a quicker video than yesterday, but uh, Ned came down, we did some work, <laughs> just per the trails, going all over the ground, but uh, we did spent a lot of the day kind of almost doing nothing, it seemed like. Now, we got the stickers off, Amazon pulled through for us, I almost did say Amazon, right? But uh, got our 3M four inch uh label remover decal whatever i don't know what you want to call it i guess it goes by there you go that's what they call it <laughs> anyway so that showed up today i just ordered it yesterday said it wouldn't be here till monday today's saturday but uh scores i love it when things show up next day awesome <laughs> so anyway that sucker was like 35 bucks. It's uh, like a gigantic pencil eraser, but uh, it really cleaned up the stickers. It left staining behind, as you can see, and the camera's not doing such a great job of showing you the staining. But I know it looks like the gel coat was burnt, but it's just the color transfer uh, from what I can tell. But... Uh, Got the stickers removed, other than the Thundercraft. I'm a little torn on starting to remove that, just because it gives the boat a brand, and I like that. But it's it's such a faded freaking thing that it's really hard to say leave it, you know. Uh, maybe if I could find a pinstripist or something like that, then I'd like to have that put on but uh i mean this i haven't touched this and this is how it's it's pretty ugly but uh, we got off the stinking dealer decals i wish they wish dealerships had quit doing that to every vehicle cal i hate that <sighs> i don't know why but is it the west metro gm crossroads maybe i think it's crossroads their decal, I hate it. I don't know why. I just hate it. And it's on every single vehicle here in town. And I hate it. <laughs> like, oh, it's such an ugly looking sticker. <laughs> but anyway, uh, if he didn't uh, catch a gander. I found a soft spot. Uh, yeah, it's a little more than a soft spot. So we're looking at an entire floor. Um it's a little interesting. Let me climb up in here. Oh. It's a little interesting the way the floor flows. It starts, I guess, as it, you know, is over here. It's hard to tell height-wise, but there's a, there's a lip here. And that lip continues over, curves over, and then it's like the plywood is right underneath that lip. And at height here, it goes up underneath the dash here, goes up and curves over towards the V up there. And uh, Stringer, I don't know, it's, I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Let's see if I can find the spot here, right there. You can kind of see the fiberglass that's supposed to be encasing the stringers a little on the bow bubbly side i mean when you i guess when you're walking that's the only soft spot otherwise everything else feels solid but uh soft is soft and that's the floor obviously or the hull of the boat underneath so oh I was hoping it was just going to be like a localized, you know, <laughs> but no, all that, it's just as rotten. And of course, we got a mouse nest. Let me tell you, I don't think I've told anybody on the video yet about this. We got a nest here, and we bought the boat. We knew that there was a nest in here underneath the cushions, but that nest went all the way up underneath there. I filled an entire I don't know what size uh, shop vac that is. I don't even know where it's at. Well, that's handy. I don't even know where it's at in here. Anyway, it's probably like a 10, 15 gallon, I'm guessing, uh, shop vac filled 
with nest. Nothing but nest. Maybe some leaves, but mainly nest. And, yeah, they're in the floor, too. So, I haven't seen anything, and I don't think we've had any critters since I bought it. But, there were apparently some critters when uh, the boat was sitting. So, um, that's a little less than ideal. I told Dad, you just have to sit on a bucket back here and I drive, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it is fairly solid everywhere else except from about there. It's just on that side of the stringer, just going up is soft. This side has a little bit of squish. It's not horrible. That side, obviously, was a lot worse. This side, I can stand all day and not have a problem. And then back here is as solid as a rock, so I don't know. It, it's going to be interesting pulling that off, but... Uh, just sucks ass and i understand why they did it i could tell you i'm not a fan of it whatsoever it just sucks ass that they fiber glassed the wood in i understand why i just hate it it's a hell of a lot of work to redo and i don't look forward to redoing that oh lordy but uh yeah so that's what we get to do but uh, we're going to go to the extreme. At least this is my idea. And I know people are prob whoops, probably going to freak the frick out when I say this. But uh, I was thinking... Whoop, whoop, got to wait for the boat to settle. Um, of cutting this floor section out up here, the fiberglass floor, because that's all the plywood. And I like the fact that the plywood V's underneath that. So I want to replace that because that is... It's kind of squishy, and uh, if we're going to have to fiberglass the damn floor in anyway, we might as well just re-fiberglass that back in. Call it a freaking day, right? Yeah. So anyway, so that's my idea. Uh, it may not look terribly fiberglassed on the inside. I'm thinking maybe just, you know, put the floor back in and fiberglass on the back side maybe. I don't know. I don't know how we're going to do it. Uh, and to be honest, we signed ourselves up for a kind of home improvement project, side job thing. Which is going to take up most of the time that we would be doing, using to do this. So, not ideal. But hey, the carpet's reusable. It, you know, so damn saturated, the glue just came right undone. I mean, there didn't rip the carpet anywhere. I uh, had to cut it up underneath the dash, but we did that as far up as possible. But hey, I mean, the floor, the carpet just peels right up without ripping completely. So that's handy dandy. Oh, still got fibers in my mouth from yesterday. <laughs> but hey, we got the uh, motor going again. Not that it was out, but uh, got everything buttoned up. Everything is running great, doing great, not leaking water anymore. Actually, I should say that there, that water line that feeds, I'm assuming this entire chamber, and then it gets spit out the little nipple down here, that hose and the plastic fitting that's attached to, that was leaking. So I'll have to take that back off. And, but they tried to zip tie the hose to the fitting, and yeah, right. <laughs> There's water pressure there that's not going to hold. Um... But, uh, so, apart from that, I'm, I started masking off the seat. I am not a professional paint tape masker, so it looks absolutely like shit. But, it'll get the job done, hopefully. Uh, gonna paint the seat. So, the joys of that. Picked up some stuff here, actually. Yeah, picked up a couple things and ordered a lot of things off Amazon. Including our handy dandy spicer u-joint for the lb7 um i did the precision brand from o'reilly's and it is making i believe it's making noise already there that howling noise i was hearing that uh that is back i uh it was pretty well gone after doing the u-joint and i drove it and i drove it and i drove it and, uh, well, quite frankly, the longer you drive it, the more miles I put back on it, and that noise is right back. I mean, it's like it was never gone. 
And it's like, but to be honest, rotating the caps on the U joint, you could kind of feel the ratchetiness of every needle bearing. And uh, this with the spicer, I don't feel that. I don't feel that. So I got to believe that that ratchety ish feeling of every needle bearing is making a harmonic noise and transferring up the drive shaft and and sounds it sounds like it's right in the middle of the truck and in between the transfer case and in between the differential it's right in the middle of the drive shaft so it's kind of like how the old u joint had a little bit of slop and that slop sounded like it was coming right from the middle of the drive shaft like there was a loose rock or something in the middle inside of the drive shaft so weird but <laughs> hey if it doesn't give you a migraine thinking about how that could possibly be causing a problem. You aren't doing it right, right? So, oh. <laughs> but uh, I am trying my darndest here. I got the buffer again. And uh, going after this yellowing. And it is being a bear. I mean, you can see. No, you can't. Well, pardon the lack of light. It's, uh, yeah, it's just being an absolute bear. I already went over this two, three times. And it's... It's in there. Oh, but, and now that the sun's gone, it is really, really hard to tell. I guess we'll have to do another video one day. But, um, we've got, right where the sticker was, is pure white and then kind of yellowish. So, I'm sure if you sanded it and, and whatever to bring out the freshest layer of clear coat... It'd probably be a brand new white boat again, but uh, it's a tinge of a yellow, creamish, and the sticker really did a good job of, not, of blocking UV rays. So that'll be interesting having a white stripe going down where the sticker was, but it is what it is, right? I did order an LED guy, found one I guess I can live with. Um, Hopefully the screw holes mount the same. I probably just covered it up. Uh, order bought today a new socket. Ill garbage, a big time, yucky. So, unfortunately, I thought this was going to be the right. I mean, it just looked right. So. I got it, but apparently the bolt holes are a tad different, a tad shorter, I should say. Unfortunately, it's just a spidge on the shirt side, so we get to have an exposed hole in the back, which is just, oh, I love that. But, uh, oh, I'm really loving that, too. That's, that's I just, I won't look over there. But, uh, no. so, and I'm trying out this mildew stain remover on the seat as you can see kind of white and then brown or whatever but i don't think it's working the way i want um that's a bummer just hoping to maybe really clean these suckers up because they're kind of brownish yellow with dirt and stuff and ugh. but you know i love the advertisement and we'll really try it here because that i think that's just mold uh that's done that and well, mold mildew whatever should work right so who knows i'll get a couple gatorades out already um yeah so uh other new purchase today was crimping tool klein i got the harbor freight version of that and the harbor freight one for some reason uh, does not crimp tight enough now, so that's Harbor Freight for you. This feels a hell of a lot more um, substantial when you squeeze it. So hopefully it does not loosen up. Because the Harbor Freight one did work for, you know, umpteen crimps, and then all of a sudden you'd crimp it and give it the little tug test, and boop, pop right out, you, you son of a bee. You know, but of course the other side that you crimped, tighter and snot but not the one side that you you know oh, to complete it you know oh why does it always happen but uh yeah 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 we're got plans and gotten plans to take up this plan so or to preoccupy us of this plan 
So I wanted it to be done by opener. I don't know that it will be. Which is fine. Opener and Mother's Day and whatever. Ugh. Uh, yeah, anyway. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, that's that's the joys I'm looking at. Yeah. So, not a whole lot else. That was it, pretty much. Um, oops, kicking everything. So, like, before it drags out, do a 20 minute video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, stay tuned to see more of a completed project product. And, you know, of course, as we're ripping the floor out and shit, I'll take pictures and video and whatever. Really show you the mess that we're really about to get into. Uh, I did not want to do that this season. I just wanted to patch the floor so that you could put a seat and that somebody could enjoy sitting along, fishing. But no, no. No, no. No, no, I gotta do it. So, uh, oh well. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching. God bless.